And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Kassarian, and we are back, and we are playing from the depths. Sorry, it's one a weird thing. I always say it that way. From the depths. Anyways, so I'm going to warn you guys. I've had about uh, a bit of whiskey so far tonight. I've been working on this. And we are working on the turret and laser system for the under-construction ship you see over there. And that ship's going to be a Corvette. It's going to be probably in about the 60 meter long. 60 block long zone, I think, right now. Ah, not creek. Did not pay for this video, but I still love them anyways. And so what we're working on today is just the primary turret for this system. Um, and what you're seeing on this deck here, coming back here, are some iterations of how I built the turret. So, I actually, this is the third time I've recorded this, and the reason it it's the third time is because I get I get a little perfectionistic with From the Depths. Um, I become a perfectionist. Is that even a word? I become I become a perfectionist when I'm playing From the Depths. So my first turret design is back here. And you can see what I did here. I have a single axis turret and another single axis turret. And to get the transmitters to work correctly, the transceivers, they have to, the beam, see the beam? See the beam right there? Has to pass through the turret vertically, okay? And this doesn't matter what sort of turret you are using. It must pass through vertically, vertically relative to the turret. So you can see here the shenanigans I had to go through to get the beam passing vertically through the turret. And so it's there, then my transceiver's over here, and then it comes back to here, and it's just a mess. You know, it's an absolute mess. We managed to tighten it up a little bit on this model because what I ended up doing was I realized that with the elevation-only turret, vertically for it, it meant like this. And so what I could do is I could come out from here, come down, over, and around, transmit up through here, and come up to a receiver connected like this. It takes me out to my laser focusing optic. And right now what I'm building is I'm actually building the turret surround for this system. So I have this little turret cap I built. It's literally a cap. And now I'm actually gonna work on building the surround. So this has been something of a continuing process, let's say. I'll put a light armor block right there as well. So one thing I want to do is I actually want to return to the hull for a second. I want to come back up here, and you'll see why I'm right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to put a... This in. It's down here. Well, nothing according to the turret, but that's not entirely accurate. So... What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Hmm, so this turret gives you a little bit less space in a lot of ways than what I'm used to. Um, that's fine. Let's let's get the turret cap actually built, and then we'll worry about the rest of it. So we'll edit this again. I was already there, wasn't I? So what I want to do is I want to create a solid block coming up here, and I think the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to do some blocks, lightweight alloy... I think I'm going to do a downslope 2 meter. I'm going to have to push it out 1. So I'm going to come out here, and I'm going to come back, downslope 2 meter. I'm going to push it out 1. And then I'm going to go with a lightweight alloy downslope 1 meter. How does that look? Not half bad, actually. Okay, so I can then come back like this. I can do a inverted, oops, an inverted triangle corner. Well, actually, I guess what I want to do is four, five, five, four. Same thing right here. Now 
going to go in for a triangle quarter two meter like this. Then inverted right there. And then we'll do two meter beams back to here. And we'll do that. And I should have used symmetry, but I'm just getting back into FTD, so give me some grace here. And down slope two meter like this. Okay. Perfect. Swing it around there. And we'll whip this around like that. Okay, there we go. So, now, we have a more complicated task ahead of us. And I'm also going to do a beam 4 meter like that and like that. I'm not expecting this gun to need much in the way of depression, by the way. That's, that's really not what I'm designing for here. Although, to be honest with you, I um, have a lot of wasted space in here. Oops, so let me push this back. Let's uh, let's get symmetry back on. Um, honestly, it looks like I might even just be able to use a 3 meter slope here to do this. So let's go down slope 3 meters. block. Ooh, yeah, okay, so that's the issue there. So we really need, we need this like that. Which means I really need that block like that. Oh, I know what I'll do. Aha! Perfect. So now I just have to take this down from where it is. Yeah, I know, this is a weird looking turret, but you know what? One, two, one, two. For only being four meters high, it's working out pretty well. Okay, so now how do I cap the front of this thing off? Uh, so that's the problem I'm having because my options are either to go for a flat front here and the main issue I'm looking at is that... Well, actually, you know what? If I just go for a triangle corner 3 meter... Alright, watch this. Triangle corner 3 meter, and then a inverted 3 meter. Right there. And then I do a 2 meter beam. Like that. And then I bring the projection forward a bit with a triangle oops, right there. And then if I do a two meter down slope like that, it looks a little bit mismatched, but not badly. But not badly. So if I come back up to here, just like this, you're in position one. How do I suddenly get backwards? You 
are also in position one. Okay, so that should be all connected. It's a weird looking gun, but I think it'll work. And if I get out of build mode, I select cannon number one. And let's... Yeah, well, clip. we have some clipping issues, but that's the issue over there. So in this mounting, it actually has a, a somewhat limited angle of firing, and that's because if I go into build mode, because of this down here. What's that turret actually supported by? So the turret right now is buried in the middle right here. Um, what I'm going to do is probably move it down a little bit. What I can really do, now that I think about it, is because the turret's up one level. If I bring the turret block down one. Yeah, so that's what I'll probably do. I'll bring the turret block down one when I actually build this for real. Uh, and then I will, uh, yeah. I'll bring the turret block level down one so that it's even with these two on the bottom. And then actually, I don't think that'll actually save me any space, but it'll work. It will, in fact, work. Okay. So, I should be able to come into here, save sub-object, sub and we'll go laser turret. Accept. Oh, and it actually, it copied everything. Oh, that's really awesome, actually. Of course, that's my game freezes. Uh, hello? Game? Game? Are you conscious there, game? Buddy old pal? 